Hi, this is Pat from Associated Siding in Omaha, Nebraska. Today we're going to take a look at a house that we did 15 years ago. We did the uh, mastic vinyl siding, we did the roof, we did Pella Pro-Line windows, Pella Pro-Line doors, uh, put shutters on it, all kinds of good stuff. So let's go around and take a look at this house. And it's kind of like looking at the car at a car lot. We'll see what it looks like up close. This is mastic, traditional barkwood vinyl siding. 15 years later, still looks good. These were 12 and a half foot long pieces of siding. Nowadays, they make 25 foot six long pieces of siding, so you eliminate a lot of the seams. You'll notice that the seams we have on here don't point toward the street, don't point towards the doors. You don't see them, you don't notice them. We put aluminum soffit on this house. That's this stuff that covers the overhang. That's a better choice than vinyl soffit, which sags. Aluminum is metal, so it doesn't sag. It doesn't rattle in the wind. It doesn't expand and contract. The trim pieces fit better and tighter. It just is a better look, a better way to go. Not too many people use aluminum siding anymore because you got to be old school to do that, I guess. These are Pella Pro-Line windows. They're clad with aluminum cladding on the outside. Let me try to get up here where I can show you what we're talking about here. See the outside of these windows has an aluminum cladding, so you don't ever have to worry about paint. And the inside of the windows are wood, so you can stain them to match your existing woodwork trim you can put new trim on these are mid-america traditional louvered shutters uh, they really set this yellow siding off the white trim really brings out the color and your colored siding really gives it a pop we have Call it corner posts which run all the way up and down and the siding fits into. We have channel which goes around the trim on all the windows and doors so the siding can fit into that so it can expand and contract and gives it a nice clean look. These are two by three aluminum downspouts. Nowadays pretty much we use all three by four downspouts which handle a lot more water. trim. This is what the siding locks into. We have crimps in there to hold it up. And we have seams pointing away from the street. I'm not going to pull that out of there in case it might break. Homeowner wouldn't like that. Then we have the entryway door that we put in. The concrete block wall, we cut a hole in it, put this new door in, gave them the door where they didn't have a door before. These windows are set into the concrete. Also, this block on this house, the house used to come down to here, and then it was blocked the rest of the way down. We furred out the concrete block, put insulation on it, covered it all the way down, so it makes it look like a two-story house instead of looking like a one-story house sitting on top of the block. Uh, it also insulates the basement very well because you have air space behind the uh, insulation. You have three-quarter inch cedar furring strips that the siding's nailed to, so it's really a good system if you want to cut with the block. You can see that the window is open. Uh, you can see where they're stained on the inside. They're wood on the inside, so People like that because they can stay in the color they want. These are Pella Pro Line doors, sliding glass doors. Put a lot of these doors in and never had any problems with them. They're a really nice, heavy door. They're aluminum clad on the outside. 
so you never have to paint them. These doors are 15 years old. They look pretty much like the day we put them in. insulation behind here so we use white beadboard foam it gives you a flat surface to nail to that way the siding can slide back and forth and be all happy. So if you need to fix it pull a piece out and put it back. We also did the roof on this home with Tamco three tab shingles. This is a hail damage job that actually we were working on, I think we were putting a new gutter on this house and it had a hail storm and we called the insurance company and got them to replace the roof for hail. Uh, we were early on, there were a lot of houses damaged in Omaha this year and we got this one done before it got real busy and the cost of shingles went up and here it is 15 years later, it still looks good and it's not leaking. It's a seamless aluminum guttering and downspout. You have no seams in the gutter. These have hidden hangers so you don't see any gutter spikes in them. These have aluminum top rivets that we use in the corners. Instead of using steel zip screws with rust, we use aluminum top rivets which don't rust. So 15 years later, these are still in good shape where if you mix two metals with steel and aluminum you're guaranteed that those steel zip screws that they would have used would be rusty by now. That's kind of the story on this house. If you're interested in getting siding on your house or if you want a roof, need new windows and doors, we'd be happy to hear from you and come and give you a free estimate try to steer you down the right path of what might be the good thing to do and then 15 years later your house will still look good and you'll be happy and we'll be happy so this is pat from associated siding omaha nebraska we'd be happy to hear from you the number is 402-680-5412 give us a call and we'd be happy to hear from you have a good day